WQAD Podcast Network. Piping hot and fresh off the grill. Welcome to Let's Taco About Food. Chatting local favorites and hidden gems. Here's your host, Taco Tori. everybody and welcome. This is Taco Tori here and with Brody Waddell here at WQAD News 8. Hey I think, guys. I think you should just be one of my recurring guests. I know. I think <laughs> I already am. All right. Well, so hi, Facebook. If you're watching, hello. Hey. And if you're not on Facebook, hi. Welcome. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. So Valentine's Day is coming up or if you're listening to it or watching it after Friday. It's ha- came and went. Yeah. Happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> I hope you weren't one of those lonely losers. <laughs> just kidding yeah right. it's okay to be a loser it is okay we're all weird in our own way <laughs> all right. right so uh we're we have a lot of pretzels and chips that oh, we're going yes. to try the today snack factory in cape cod we got some stuff here we'll try these while we kind of talk about valentine's day so i was gonna say don't worry you can snack on these on valentine's day yes that's right so let's try these sea salt and cracked pepper pretzels first because I've never tried those. Yeah, let's do it. So what do you typically do? Ooh, those smell strong. What do you typically do Ooh, for okay. Valentine's Day, Tori? Can I smell it? Well, I don't really do much. Uh, now that I, I have a boyfriend now that I've been dating for over a year. So have you normally been single for Valentine's Day? Shout out to Ducky. Yeah, yeah. I've been pretty much single. Um, just getting even candy and chocolate when I was single. But, um, <laughs> How about <it> all? <laughs> Last year, I think my boyfriend and I, we went out to mm-hmm. dinner. I can't remember where. It's just been so long. But uh, this Friday, we're going mm-hmm. out to dinner, too. I'm actually going to be in Chicago this weekend. Oh, cool. So, uh, well, in the Chicago suburbs. So, But it's a surprise dinner. Mm-hmm. So I don't know where we're going yet, but I'm sure it'll a be good. A surprise for him? or A uh, surprise for me. Oh, okay. Yep. It's just like wherever I feel like taking you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What about, what about you, Brody? Um, I don't know. I will be... I'm going to leave him for a vacation on Saturday, the day after uh, Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. For, aren't these good? Wow. They're good, yeah. That's interesting. Like and so maybe I'll do something while I'm down there because Mexico celebrates uh, Valentine's Day as well. So, I don't know, maybe a fancy dinner I'll have to do. Yeah, place definitely. where you can go get champagne. I don't know <laughs> what, like, a fancy Mexican place is. And I've tried asking uh-huh. my friends down there. I'm like, what is, you know, because here it's, all, it's like a steakhouse or it's like if there's right. a chef who has, like, personalized, you know, stuff there. Or sure. they offer a special experience. So I'm like, well, what's special? <laughs> yeah, because I was actually in Mexico about a month ago, mm-hmm. and, yeah, we were at the resort pretty much the whole time, most mm-hmm. of the time. I mean, and they have good restaurants at resorts, mm-hmm. but it's not but the it's same. But it's not, it's it not really? traditional, mm-hmm. the traditional Mexican mm-hmm. food. But there is, I'm like, is there an Italian place maybe at your resort? Yeah, there might be. That was pretty good. There was one at the resort I was at, and that was really good. The last one I went to, they had, like, a sushi bar, which was which was pretty good. But, I mean, the Mexican food was the best. Mm-hmm. I think I was sick the night that everybody went to the Italian place. Okay, I think I know what a regular pretzel tastes like. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've had those before, too. Yeah. So let's good. try some sea salt and vinegar. Oh, wait, should we do the, uh, ev- should we do the everything oh, ones yeah, first? Oh, yeah, let's do those ones. I don't know if I've tried those. So these are everything. These are like deli, they like bagels, like an everything bagel. So oh, I love like everything seeds bagels. And that should stuff be good. Like that. Yeah, that's a lot. But there we go. Yeah, you can some smell. ASMR. Yeah, I can smell the sesame seeds on these too. Well, I think I've normally been single for some Valentine's days. Sometimes I'll have a Valentine, but mm-hmm. in terms of like a real big special thing that I do, not really. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Just kind of relax. Well, you know, like exchange gifts. I think last year I had a Valentine. We exchanged gifts and that didn't end up working out, but it was fun <laughs> at the time, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, for those of you in the Quad Cities, too, who are looking for a place to go out, Johnny's oh, yeah. Italian Steakhouse. They were actually great. on News 8 at 6.30 last night, on uh, Tuesday night. That's right. They were... Um, that was uh, February, for those of you who are listening later, uh, that was February 11th mm-hmm. they were on. 
and they made a steak and lobster sea bass, mm -hmm. like lobster crusted mm. steak. And so you said they made like lobster bisque or something. Lobster bisque too, mm -hmm. yeah. And spinach and Brussels sprouts. And I'm not really a Brussels sprouts person, but right. they are. Right. I actually tried some because they had some flavor to yeah. it, and they were really good. So. Actually, I like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and artichokes and stuff. Artichokes. I like artichokes too. Ooh. This is sea salt and vinegar. You know, actually, I've never actually been to Johnny's Steakhouse. I've been to several other places around here. It's uh -huh. really good. I really liked RC's Brazilian Steakhouse. Oh, I don't know if that's the here. best place for, like, I mean, they'll probably get mad for me to say that, but I don't know if it's the best place for a Valentine's Day thing because when you're there, uh -huh. you're, like, and really get your money's worth, you need to eat, like, a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's exactly what you want to be doing on Valentine's, you know. <laughs> you get so stuffed, you don't want to do anything. It's like, all right, let's just that's go to true, bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're good. I mean, there's a lot of good places here in the Quad Cities. I'm kind of blessed sure. in terms of, like, food. Definitely. There's, like, a lot of local places, too. Mm -hmm. I think kind of Valentine's Day dinner is, like, such a cliche thing, though. Everyone's like, we'll do a dinner. Mm -hmm. Like, I almost like doing more experienced things, like, outside of that. And I'm not sure what they got going on Valentine's Day weekend around the Quad Cities, but I know that there are some stuff that they've been yeah, I emailing know. us. And uh, I uh -huh. wish I knew off the top of my head. There's some shows going on. I think mm -hmm. Kinky Boots is on right now. It's right. Yeah. and then the uh, At the Circa 21. Uh-huh. That's a great place. I like that. I've never been to Circa 21. I've wanted to go there. They're pretty cool. It's like you don't typically get live theater like that in a place like this. You have to have like a lot. Uh -huh. like normally a lot bigger. Cool. Sure. Oh. <laughs> the Texas Tenors are in town. Yeah, night Texas too. Tenors, you're right. Yeah. So there's plenty of stuff to do. You can go like get dinner, maybe see a show, see a movie. Definitely. What's in theaters right now that everyone's excited about? I'm trying to remember. Before we get into the movies, though, I just I wanted to add that uh, some hotels in the Quad Cities are doing taxes too, like the, oh, the Element. Black Hawk. Yeah, Black Hawk mm -hmm. too. Yeah, Check and then the Act, the new Axis Hotel, Fifth Avenue Syndicate. Okay, this is sea salt and cracked black pepper. Ooh. All right. Kettle cooked chips. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have a ton of different chips and pretzels here. It'd be good to combine them. Oh, I kind of like this pepper and salt flavor. I've never had, I've literally never had that before. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, it's not spicy, but there's just like a little bite to it. Yeah, it's like, it's just like that little extra pinch of flavor. Mm -hmm. Exactly it's right good. on oh. the end. Yes, it's good. Best dinner ever. Mm -hmm. just yeah, just some night. chips, I know. <laughs> I've had yeah. them sitting forever. I wanted to try some of them. They're good. Yeah, they're really good. Mm -hmm. Um, for Valentine's Day for candy, I know that's probably a cliche yes. question too, but do you have a favorite Valentine's Day candy? I love those like Reese's. I think, what are they, like the hearts? Am I crazy? I don't know. I just like the, the peanut butter stuff. Mm -hmm. Now ask me around Yeah, I'm Easter. not sure if there's a heart. I have a lot of favorite Easter candies. Oh, the Valentine's eggs too. Yeah, I know. The Reese's eggs, the no. white chocolate ones. Or the, those sugar shell eggs. Oh, the Cadbury, yes. or are they Cadbury yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. They have like the the different colors, Dude, and they have this like the little. I literally can eat a whole That's bag good. of those. Those are so good. To the point where like I'm munching on them, and then I hate myself <laughs> when you have to stop eating. You know, because then you're like, it gets to the point where it's like not even good, but you're like, <laughs> 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 that happens for me with those. Mm -hmm. They're so good. Yeah, just I like a lot of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Just anything with caramel, caramel to chocolate. I know. I'm a butter. big toffee guy. Toffee too. They always Cookies have that. But all the wise people wait until after Valentine's Day to go buy all their chocolate and candy when it's all, like, mm -hmm. half off. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the perfect time to get them. Mm -hmm. and then you can just save it till next Valentine's Day. <laughs> As an old stale chocolate. Here you go. Here you Love go. you. <laughs> so I was actually at Target last week, and I saw some interesting Valentine's Day gifts, too. Like, mm -hmm. little small gifts, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a candy dispenser with the poop emoji. Yeah. So I haven't, like I, I haven't tried poop. it yet, but yeah. yeah, I think it poops out just like little poop. candies or something. Oh, okay. I thought you, know, you like meant like chocolate. poop emoji candies that come out. <laughs> no, funny. the dispenser is actually mm -hmm. the poop and it's got the hard yeah. eyes, but yeah. And there's also some good gifts, you know, like, like birds, mm -hmm. decorative birds, and they're dressed in Hawaiians, but yeah. I know it's not about food, but it's 
related to Valentine's, kind of Valentine's Day. Day stuff. Yeah. Did you? I mean, I think a lot of places they're getting rid of like Valentine's Day exchanges in schools. Did you have that oh, when yeah. you were like? Yeah, in I grade had school? that in grade school. That was fun. I'm not sure. I always liked it. I always remember staying up like with my mom, and you'd go buy all the things. Or are they like the cards that come with the sucker or like, mm-hmm. um, what were they? I always loved the fun dip. Oh, Those yes. were my favorite, man. Those were so good. Those were good. And just, um, I used to just eat too. the stick. I wouldn't even do the powder. I'd be like, get oh, rid of yeah, that. Oh, yeah, just eat the stick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the powder too. I like the, I like the blue powder. Mm-hmm. I think that that'd that would be the only one good. I would eat. But yeah, that was always fun. I mean, I kind of get why they get rid of it. There might be some awkward stuff about it. Like, you know, people are like, well, I mean, you were supposed to give everybody a kind of one. Mm-hmm. I mean, he could do a special one for your crush or whatever, but everybody had to get something. That's true, yeah. Or else you'd be the lonely kid. I know, you're like, God, no one wants Valentine. to give me a Valentine. <laughs> Did you ever watch Recess? Mm-hmm. You remember the episode when TJ didn't really care about Valentine's Day, or but then he decided to make all a special valentine for all the girls in school mm-hmm. and all the girls thought that it was a special one meant for them yeah but then they everybody <laughs> that's funny there was actually something like that in real life where they made a valentine's day for every all the girls or something i was like that's one oh, slit. Valentine, valentine's yeah, day yeah maybe yeah and no then, that's coming up yeah i know there's some stuff going on for that too yeah that's supposed to be what the day before Mm-hmm. Yeah, so tomorrow. Or is that desperation day, they call it? Desperation <laughs> Everyone day. Everyone desperate to have a Valentine. They're like, just anybody who will take me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So everybody on the prowl, they're like, everyone wants a Valentine, so I can find me one, too. <laughs> I know like, so, like, those stories, too, of, like, I think there was, I forget, like, exactly what it was, but there was someone who, yeah, like, gave everyone Valentines. Mm-hmm. Or, on your school. So, yeah, it was, and they all uh-huh. loved it. And I was like, that little smart little guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's already a lady killer. <laughs> yeah, cool. for sure. I just got to dig in here for another one of these salt and black pepper pretzels. These things are good. Yeah, they are really mm. good. I think those are my favorite. That mm. and the everything. But I think I like the salt and pepper one. I know. I think it's because they put some garlic on it, Jill. Oh, yes. It has to I, think that'll, I think that'll do it. There's onion powder and garlic powder, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Have you ever had Corey's, our, one of our sports anchor, Corey Cuffler, I'm sure people listening know him. He makes uh, homemade pretzels with see, like flavoring Ooh, on no, them. Oh, I haven't They're had so those. good. They're regular pretzels. They're not like the flat thins like this, but he uh-huh. does like a, a kind of a sweet ranch flavor, and then he has Ooh. like a spicy one, and they are. They're oh, so man. good. Corey's going to have to make me a pretzel. <laughs> Everyone's always like, you should sell these. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Missing out. Yeah, you are. They are so good. Salt and pepper is just game, though, with the uh, chips, too. I know. It's yeah. simple, because you're technically eating just, like, some bread. Mm-hmm. I love oh, these things. Good. I'm not normally a chip guy. You know what I mean? I prefer mm-hmm. to eat, like, real food when I'm having it. Because if I start eating on them, I'll just eat them forever. I know. I'll go through Same. a whole bag, you know. Like, I have a couple mm-hmm. tubes of Pringles sitting at home, and that's very rare that I get those. Oh, man, Pringles. They're, mm-hmm. they're probably going to go in one sitting. So. Yeah, I've tried not to eat as many chips either just Mm -hmm. trying to eat a little bit healthier Mm -hmm. and eat more substantial and but sometimes though with chips just gotta treat yourself once in a while (laughs) that's good yeah any other valentine's day traditions i'm trying to think of any but do you get your mom or oh yeah i do i do get my mom yeah i actually (laughs) got my mom and dad Mm -hmm. some stuff um I can't really, I can't say though because my mom's probably watching yeah, and listening. Don't I don't want to give it away. It's kind of funny. It's almost like Valentine's Day is like give all the females in your life a gift of some yeah. kind. You know, your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, your like my aunt, mm-hmm. your, your cousin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's fun. Or no, not the family wrong. stuff. For sure. It's almost like it's just kind of an excuse to give more gifts sort of day. Snacks, do mm-hmm. something fun. I actually got my aunt one of those birds I was telling you about from yeah. Target. She loves him. <laughs> That's smart. But, yeah, my, yeah no, for sure. My grandma loves that type of stuff. Yeah, I haven't even been. I'm sure it'll look like a picked over graveyard by, I mean, tomorrow, Friday. I have some people wait until the last minute to get their stuff. And, yep. Yeah. What's your favorite Valentine's Day, like, candy thing? Um, 
my favorite candy, I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably just say the chocolate. Mm-hmm. I, don't, like, I, I, don't, I don't really like have the a, boxes of chocolates. I do love. Oh, those. I do like the boxes of chocolate. Have you ever yes. had Godiva? Yes, oh, Godiva. That stuff's pretty good. They're very expensive. Yes, they are. The Lindor truffles are good too. Yeah, those are pretty good. But I really like, I really do like the assorted chocolates. Not like I do too. Not like the cheap ones. Like, like the, the Russell Stover's yeah, are like talking about. Yeah. Or like the pot of gold oh, things. Yeah, no, I like, not, I like, like the actual, like almost like designer chocolates like that Godiva. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's good stuff. Mm-hmm. I remember my, my dad would always get a box of the $100 box of chocolates for my mom on Valentine's Day. And she'd always mm-hmm. just let me have a couple and I'd always be like, oh my God, this looks so... Oh. But they were so I'm special so and they weren't for me. So I guess now I'm an adult, I'm like, ugh. Them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's my favorite. I love like there's like good local shops for that stuff too. What was it? Ultimate Chocolates was here. Yeah, Ultimate Chocolates was my here. My goodness, they oh had my gosh. so much, so many so different, many. so many different kinds. Oh, we were all sure. like a bunch of vultures in there after he said his spread out. We're like, all right, let me get everybody <laughs> fill up a little box. Mm-hmm. And I dream, I dream about cookies. Or yes. the Cookies and Dreams. That's yes. actually their Instagram handles. I dream about cookies, mm-hmm. but Cookies and Dreams inside. And they'll be opening. Yeah. yeah, and they're opening their own location soon or something. They said, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I forgot when. I, I wish would I love to go when. there. Those look oh, like freaking they are so heart attack in the thing, but it's like it'd be worth it. That's like your dinner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, well, I'm done eating for today. <laughs> It's like when you go to Steel Plow and get those milkshakes. Yes, That's your dinner. I know. <laughs> well, especially after you've already eaten like all those fries and a burger, and then mm-hmm. they're like, "You want a milkshake?" And you're like, Ugh. "I always yeah. take mine to go." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's smart. I've been there a couple times on dates, actually. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, cool. Not like Valentine's Day stuff. It's not a great place to go for a date, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> I typically try to avoid places where I'm going to be, like, stuffing myself like an animal. And that's one of those places, too, you know, where it's right. messy and you're just like, I don't know. Like, I can't do pizza. Don't want to be messy in front of your yeah, date. Yeah, so that's the thing to talk about. Like, what are places you should definitely avoid on, like, a Valentine's Day? McDonald's. Yes. Okay, I mean, yeah, but, like, a sit-down. Oh, Sure. Because I could even be romantic. Well, you could sit down at McDonald's. Yeah, or you could just get a bunch of things to go and just, mm-hmm. like, sit in the park and eat your yeah. McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, some other places. Steak and Shake? Would you consider Steak and Shake? I mean, after if maybe if you went there oh, after you were, like, out partying or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then you're like, let's get some Steak and Shake. <laughs> yeah, some shakes. That's, and... Yeah, that's the one I would go there. But, I mean, that's like... A buffet probably wouldn't be a good idea because you don't want because that's a place you'd stuff yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah, like a big burger. I think even like pizza. You know what I mean? Pizza, I just yeah. anywhere that I'm gonna just like feel like a bum after I get done eating there. That's not where you should go. Where you're yeah, just like sitting like there and you're full. like, Ugh, yep. So how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> With a freaking bowling ball in your stomach. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, then wa- then if you have to like walk around like mm-hmm. along the riverfront or something, then you've got stomach cramps. Exactly. And, yeah, that's I would not want to do you that can't either. Can't focus on it. I always have to like sit and rest. Yeah. For walking kind of, around. Kind of unfortunate that it's snowing so much, or it will be so much snow for this Valentine's Day too. I mean, I know it's February I know. and there's going to be snow, but right. I feel like normally it's not. So snowy yeah. around this time. Yeah, I mean, I know it's supposed to snow, like, tomorrow, but I don't think we're supposed mm-hmm. to get snow on Friday. No, I'm sure there'll be so some left, though. A little left over, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but, yeah, the roads, hopefully, should it be fine be okay. by, by then. And you know, I'm worried about tonight. I am, too. Around. I saw them driving around in the Beast. Andrew was out there and looking at the feed. I'm sure a lot of you people were watching the stream as well. They're very popular, but it was, like, <laughs> it looked like a blizzard. Yeah, for those listening, uh, Andrew he, Andrew Stutsky is one of our meteorologists yes. on WQAD. That's right. Yeah, he was out very, in our good. he was out in our big beast, our big truck, and mm-hmm. we take that out when we have nasty weather. Yeah, so. of any kind, really. Any kind of weather, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but it was cool. Yeah, it was it was a lot. You know, he was in like South, like Henry County, Illinois, mm-hmm. kind of by Galesburg, and yeah, he was yeah out that looked pretty there, nice. Mercer, Knox, mm-hmm. all over the place. So that's always cool when he does that. So you can actually kind of see what it's like mm-hmm. out there. Definitely. Mm-hmm. And there's a little camera inside the inside yeah, of the truck. Yeah, you can see him. You can see outside. Yeah, that's cool. That'd be a cool Valentine's Day experience, wouldn't it? Yeah, go out <laughs> cruising the around the beach. <laughs> we can go wherever we want. 
Like, hey, you want to take a ride of the beast? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm excited though for Valentine's Day. Should be, should be pretty yeah, fun. Me too. I'll probably celebrate it on like Saturday night, Sunday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Friday is the actual Valentine's Day. Maybe I'll treat myself. I think you should. Eat something nice, you know. I think you should. Yeah. Do you drink coffee? Oh, I do. I do drink coffee. I do like coffee. You heard of Duncan's, uh, what's it, the pink velvet? R- right, yeah, they have yes. some new thing. And I love red velvet. That's like, like my oh, favorite type of cake, too. It's so good. Yes. And then there's all those haters <laughs> that are like, it's just red chocolate. No, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not just red chocolate. Okay? No, <laughs> it's not. People that think that are dummies. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, mm. but no, that's pretty good. Yeah, you that would be good. I'd have to try that. They're only, I think that's only mm. there until Valentine's Day. It's kind so. of a special thing. Yeah, a little special. I wonder thing. if they're doing yeah. anything special at like the Hertz Donuts. Oh, with, oh, Hertz Donut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder too. I know they it's normally good. have like a red velvet. That seems like the most it's Valentine's good. Dayny thing. Yeah. Yeah, donuts and more too. Mm-hmm. I know they were here uh, about a week ago, and they brought us a lot of donuts. Oh yeah, that's right. They had red a bunch velvet. Of, mm-hmm. oh, so good. I know those are all picked apart. I got the leftovers by the time I got here. Hey, leftovers is better than nothing. <laughs> I know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that is funny, though. I remember that. It was just a couple days ago. Hmm. Man. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. That's right. And getting ready for Valentine's Day. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be here before you know mm-hmm. it. And for sure. And I have the day off work. Oh, that was Friday, smart. so that'll be nice. Yeah, I have a nice three-day weekend. Yeah, definitely just going up to Chicago then. And yeah, I have to drive to Chicago on Saturday. I'm flying out. That's where I'm flying out Flying out, out from. of O'Hare. Yep. yep. It's like a four-hour flight. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to be at the Mexico City airport for like two or three hours, and then I'm hopping on a plane out to Cancun. Oh, I know, on. so hopefully I'll be there around like noon, one o'clock on Sunday. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm just no. going to sleep on the plane so that way I can just walk straight out to the beach. That's nice. And be like, yes. And be like, Kiro Margarita, Andale, for favor. <laughs> is it all inclusive? Though? Yes. Nice. It, it got all inclusive. It'll be nice. And I paid in pesos, so it was much cheaper. Oh, good. Yeah. My goodness, yeah. they overcharged us Americans, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with pesos. I, I would always get thrown off with the charges with... Yeah. With pesos and dollars because the sign is the same and it's mm. like oh oh it's cheaper i know <laughs> right and the things exactly mm-hmm. it's great that's what i was just telling eleanor our one of our new reporters she was like oh i want to go and i'm like you should the exchange rate is great it's like 500 pesos is like 24 25 dollars <laughs> no no so it's like all right Man, yeah, that's not bad at all. Mm. Yeah, that long, enjoy that long flight. Hopefully you get some sleep. I couldn't really sleep. I'm going to be flying forever. <laughs> on my way back last time, I definitely slept. But I've never slept on a plane before, but I was just like, ugh. kind of like, hurts your neck a little mm, bit, too. I know, it's awful. And I was on a small plane, too, so I was like, oh. my knees barely had any room. I'm a oh, taller no. guy. Yeah. Oh, that's the worst. I know, I'm hoping it's not like that this time. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. hopefully it's fine. Yeah, yeah. safe travels. Mm-hmm. How Thank long? You. Will, how long will you be gone? I'm gonna be there for like nine days. So I leave on Saturday and then I come back the next Monday. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited. I was like, I just need <laughs> some time where I don't worry about anything. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm that'll be nice. Working. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because I'm going all over, so that'll be great. I'm gonna yeah, have like for one sure. big long celebration. There you go. Then I'll have plenty of food stuff to talk about. Yes. I'll have to bring, I'll probably bring some Mexican candies too. Yeah, you should. Stay tuned. (laughs) Yeah, I know. That'll be fun. We'll do an all like Mexican food themed podcast when I get back. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. Actually, my first episode was about Mexican food with Mm -hmm. uh, Brandon Carlton from QC Mexican Food blog post came in and we talked about different places to eat Mexican food. So we might have to stop at a restaurant and get some food or order some food too. Exactly. Talk like to them and be like, hey, can we get some uh, <laughs> some of that good stuff? Oh, yeah, that'll be good. Mm-hmm. Good, so we can't wait. Yeah, well, thank you, Brody, for thank you for being a recurring guest today. Of course. And I'm always down to talk about food and eat food. Of course, you know, I have, you know, my date night dining show where I go around to different restaurants oh, and yes. eat stuff. So that's like my thing. I love it. Here recently, I just went out to 
and met Miguel Rosas. He runs a barber college out here in the Quad Cities. Oh, cool. He's very talented. I saw him shave Salvador Dali in the back of a guy's head. Oh, my gosh. And I said, hey, would you like to do my hair and beard for my date night dining show? And he said, yes. So mm-hmm. I'm at, pretty soon I'm going to do like a segment with him, go out and record with him. So I'm very excited mm-hmm. about that. So we're really expanding kind of the scope of the show, trying to make it more like varied and exciting. Because, mm-hmm. you know, there's more to when you're going on a, like a date night than just just the food that you're going to eat. Right. So I was like, okay, well, let's try and incorporate some of the other stuff too. So Yeah, no, that'll be Big fun. Big exciting things happening. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And no problem. Thank you, everyone, for listening and watching. Hope you yes, have a happy watching. Valentine's Day. And we will see you or you will hear us next time. That's right. Goodbye. Bye.